Hello science enthusiast, I am back after a little long break. Uh, today what we are going to see is um, the working of eddy current uh, forces in action. What I have here is a set of uh, strong neodymium magnets. Uh, to be very precise, I have five of them. Not too, not too strong but the ones that you generally get at the hardware stores. And then what I have here is a 5-8 inch dia, 1 feet long pure copper tube. Uh, this you can get at any stores that deals with AC uh, or refrigeration or air conditioning accessories. Now here's the fun part. Uh, what we would do is we'll try to put this magnets uh, vertically through this tube and let them slide uh, assisted by gravity. Uh, if you want to pause the video and try to anticipate what would happen, you can do it now. Uh, basically, would it stop? Would it fall as if it was a free fall? Or would it follow some other uh, velocity or speed through the pipe? Obviously, it's not going to stick to the copper because copper is non-magnetic. You can see here, this is non-magnetic. I cannot stick to it and neither does it stick here. Uh, so pause the video and think what's going to happen. I have already given you the hint. It's called eddy current losses. Uh, so some of you should have already guessed what it is. Well, without any further ado, let's see what happens. I'm going to subject these magnets for a free fall from within the tube. Now the tube is, the tube's inner diameter, as you can see, is big enough so that this is not a flush or a press fit. This has a lot of uh, play or a tolerance such that the magnets can pass through it without any interference. This is important. Now, you don't want to have too much play, otherwise they'll start rattling. And you don't want to have too much tight uh, inner diameters that it doesn't get stuck because of the fitting. I've just got enough here. Uh, and let's see what's happen what's going to happen. So here I hold the magnet. I'm holding the camera with another hand. So I can't use my second hand. And here I'm going to subject it. I just lift it off the floor. And voila. Did you just see how long it took for the magnets to pass through it? If you see a free fall from the same height here, boom, it just fell down. But if you subject it through the pipe, it takes a long time. Uh, here you go again. Let's see. I'll count on a second. One, two, three, four, five. Almost four and a half or five seconds is what it took to fall down from the free height. Now my question to all the science enthusiastic viewers is why so? I've already given a little hint in the beginning. It's called eddy current. Uh, if you want to know further about it, you can also refer to Lenz's law or Fleming's right hand rule and put your answers below in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you like this video and would like to see more coming, actually I have one more coming up in the pipeline which is a homemade hand pump which I will be floating up soon. Uh, do like my video. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.